Cunning Saints. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. Happy birthday today to Will Callahan, Bristol Cunningsman, Ava Meyer, and William Biggers. The saint of the day today is Saint Ildefonsus. Is a highly regarded in Spain and closely associated with devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. He fostered by his famous work concerning her perpetual virginity. Born around 607, Ildefonsus came from a noble family It was a, probably a pupil of Saint Isidore of Seville. While still quite young, he entered the Benedictine Monastery in, in, of Agalia near Toledo and went on to become its abbot. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, it's a surprise. Yeah. Sports. There will be a girls' soccer meeting today after school in the library from 3.30 to 4. Any girls that are interested in participating in girls' soccer this spring need to be in attendance. See you there. Here's Evie with a video. Hi, Saints. As some of you may know, my name is Evie Holsey, and I'm the president of Teens for Life here at Aquinas. Over this past week, many of your fellow classmates and I went on a pilgrimage to Washington, D.C. to join in the 51st annual March for Life. We marched with thousands from all across the country, standing up for those who are too small to stand for themselves. The first March for Life was held 50 years ago today, January 22nd, 1974. 50 years ago yesterday. January 22nd has since become a full a day of prayer for the full restoration of the legal guarantee of the right to life. Yesterday also marked the 51st anniversary of the passing of Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade was the decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States generally protected a right to have an abortion. This is not true. This is a direct contradiction to the Declaration of Independence, which our country was founded on. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All men no matter their size or location or age or how much they are wanted by those around them. They all have the right to life. On June 24, 2022, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in a vote of 5-4. to four. Though this is a great victory for life, this ruling does not stop abortion, but rather turn it back to the states. Fourteen states have banned abortion. That means that abortion is legal in some regard in 36 of our beautiful states. Kansas is one of those 36 states. Here in Kansas, abortion is legal up to 21 weeks and six days after conception. At that point, your baby has its arms, legs, and even has hair and eyebrows. The baby's distinct, unique fa facial features are developed, and your baby can even suck their womb, their thumb in the womb. Your baby is alive, as it was when it was conceived and as I am now. In the first 10 months of 2023, there were an estimated 878,000 abortions in the United States. 878,000. That is over 2,400 deaths a day. That would be the equivalent of sinking one and a half Titanics a day or crashing 16 full Boeing 737 planes every single day for 10 months straight. Since the passing of Roe v. Wade 51 years ago, over six mi 64 million babies have been killed by abortion in the United States alone. 64 million, a number incomprehensible. This is the largest mass homicide in the history of the world, over 10 times the number of Jewish people killed in the Holocaust. One third of our generation was never even allowed to be born. One third of our friends, teammates, classmates, and future husbands or wives. 64 million babies, lives taken by so-called doctors that were trained to save lives, Instead, these men and women at Planned Parenthood, who are called doctors, prey on women, who are scared and vulnerable, and make money off of killing their babies. These numbers may make you uncomfortable and scared, and they should. These are not just numbers on a chart. These are innocent human lives. As St. Pope John Paul II said, every human person, no matter how vulnerable or helpless, no matter how healthy, no matter how young or how old, handicapped or sick, no matter how useful or productive for society, is a being of inestimable worth created in the image and likeness of God. This is the truth, and the truth needs to be said and heard. Be the truth. Again, in the words of JP2, freedom exists for the sake of truth. Without truth, there is no freedom. We are blessed with freedom in this country, and we must not take it for granted. All of us here will be faced with something like this at some point in our future, whether it is a friend who becomes pregnant or something more personal. You can do it. 
That baby is an individual soul who wants nothing more than to love and be loved. Support that mother. Support that father. Children are miracles and gifts. Abortion is not empowering women. It is telling them that they are incapable. Abortion is not a solution. It is the problem. Abortion is murder. I urge those of you who joined in this pilgrimage to talk to your friends and family about what you witnessed and share what you learned. And to those of you who could not come, on, come with us this year, I urge you to ask questions and listen. Be the second wave in this ripple. Continue this chain reaction and be the change you want to see. More importantly, be the change that this country and world so desperately need. Knowledge means nothing if it is not shared, so share it. We must stand up for life. We are the truth, the change, and the future. We are the pro-life generation. Stand up, even if you feel that you are standing alone, because you are never alone. Do not be afraid. Be unapologetic, faithful witnesses of Jesus Christ, and stand up for life, because your reward will be great in heaven. Thanks, Evie. The National March for Life is over, but the Kansas March for Life March for Life in Topeka is this week, tomorrow, January 24th, all day from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. A year ago in Kansas, our state voted to allow abortions without any regulations. We need to stand up for life. Uh, we need to stand up for the life of the unborn. Sign up to learn about how abortions are killing viable lives. Attend Mass with the Archbishop, the Bishops of Kansas, and then march to the Capitol to participate in the, in the rally with our legislators. We need you to sign up for the Kansas March for Life. Sign up can be found on the SCA website in the Teens for Life section. The cost is $30 for a coach bus ride, movie, rallies, mass, and we will provide water and cookies. You bring a lunch. Sign up today. Invite some friends. Today is the last day to sign up. Questions? Contact Miss Loafman at bloafman at saints.net. Calling all artists. If you are interested in applying to National Art Honor Society, please pick up an application packet by Friday, January 26th. Stop by Mrs. Kane's room in 208 to pick one up. Now time for the dad joke of the day. Oh, I hate my salads. I hate that my salads are always a little dry. It's a problem that needs addressing. It really is. Yeah. Now for our Friday countdowns. We only have 10 Fridays left this school year. It's crazy. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Alex. And I'm Jordan. Signing, Signing off. off. Remember, stay classy, classy saints, and together we shine. shine.